Okay, this is called Gamma, and this is going to allow you to make a presentation, a document, or a web page with just a few clicks using AI and generative AI. So first, uh, I did log in. I just set up an account with my email. If you notice on the bottom left, it says I have 400 credits. That's how many presentations or that's how many credits I have to, towards making presentations. So I haven't run out of credits yet myself on my other account. This is a fresh account, so I could show you what it'll look like from the start. So first I'm gonna click on presentation and it says, what do you want your presentation to be about? So for me, I am going to do something like um, cyberbullying because I teach sixth grade technology. And if you notice over here, it says I can use up to 100 tokens or 100 characters. So I'm just going to start with cyberbullying. What it'll do is come up with an outline for me. So the, this is the outline that it's going to make my presentation. Um, I'm going to go through, I'll probably take out legal in information, maybe add something in um, for bystanders. support for bystanders. And then I will also um, probably, well, I'll keep it on English for now, but I will come back again and create the outline again or the presentation again in Spanish for my Spanish speaking students. If I don't like this outline, I can just click try again, but I'm going to pretend like I love this outline. And then over here on the right, it's going to give you a different, some different ideas for themes. So this is just what the presentation is going to look like. I guess I'll just choose this one. And then this is, um, you have, this is gonna explain to you how the text is going to lay out. But for right now, I'm just gonna keep it going before, um, I don't wanna take up too much time showing you, but I'm just gonna click continue so you can see. This is a, this is gonna be the homepage or the first slide rather, cyberbullying is a problem that affects millions, learn how to prevent it, it has my name. And then each one of these slides looks like has a completely different layout, which I like. So types of cyberbullying, impact of vic on victims, how to prevent it, steps for reporting, support for bystanders, and conclusion. Now that's just a skeleton for me. I would go in now and I would edit all of these slides to make sure that I'm including the information that I want. I could also run it again and see if it came up with something different or I could add more details to my initial outline. So if you want to edit individual slides, you just click on the slide itself. And then over here on the right, you have all of these options. So you can edit with AI. So this will this will give you some features kind of built in. So right now I'm selected on this particular slide, but it says give me more exciting ways to say this, suggest some images. Let's just do that, suggest some images. Um, suggest a theme, so add some emojis, turn this into a haiku. So there's lots of different choices of what you can do. And then here are some, I'll just grab this slide. I have to click drag and drop. Oh yeah, click and drag. Okay. And the thing that I like about this is it is going to put it in, oops, it is going to format this so that it fits into your slide, which as you know, that takes an awful lot of time normally in Google Slides or Canva. So there it is. The other thing I can do is I can rewrite the slide altogether. I can click on any of the boxes and just edit what's in the slide. Um, there are also some formatting options over here. I can call out certain text. I can change the layout altogether. So if I wanted to make it, you know, look entirely different, or if I wanted to make this into columns, let's see what would happen if I changed the columns. Okay, so it just added the three columns in there, and then I could click and drag those items in. I can add pictures, I can add videos, I can add other web pages or apps. And um, once I like it, I can share it in various ways. So I can share it publicly. It's kind of like a Google uh, presentation in that way. I can email people, we can work on it together. I can share it publicly or I can copy the link. But then when I present it up here, it's going to be full screen. This is how it looks. And then you just scroll through by pressing the right and left arrow. Now I would add, 
obviously a lot of information to this because I didn't do too much tweaking. But the thing that I love about this tool is that I don't have to do the presentation formatting. I just have to worry about the content. And even that it has a nice scaffold. So you can use this, um, like I said, up to 400 tokens. And I'm not sure how many that just if I was charged, how much I was charged for that. Let me go back to the home and just take a peek. So 350 credits left. So that costs 50 credits. And I don't know the pricing on the credits. So um, I can't advise you there. But what I will say is that I have a secondary email that I've used all 10 present or I've made 10, 10 presentations. And once I'm expired, I'm going to upgrade because I love this tool. Okay, I hope this is helpful. Good luck.